Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews and today we're going to go over what is white Zinfandel and what is Zinfandel. This, if you ask for a Zinfandel wine, is the color of the wine they will direct you to. This is made from the Zinfandel grape. The wine is generally higher in alcohol, very dark purple, robust and dry. If you ask for rosé, you will get a wine like this French wine here which can be any shade of color, could be made in any country that makes grapes and from almost any grape, any red grape. Really any, any grape, really. I'll explain that in a second. And it will be dry. If you ask for blush wine or white Zinfandel, you'll get something like this Sutter Home, which is made in California. And that category, this is considered a blush, or excuse me, this is considered a rosé wine. But when you say you don't say rosé, you say white Zinfandel, more in particular white Zinfandel, maybe blush. Then they know you're talking about basically an American invention that is a sweeter wine with less alcohol. This one is, um, I think, 12.5% ABV. Yes, this one is 15% uh, ABV, and this is 9.5%. Lower the alcohol, generally the sweeter the wine, because, and uh, because the sugar hasn't been turned into alcohol. Fermentation was stopped early, and, and the sugars are left in there. Uh, so that's the difference between these wines. A white Zinfandel, if you want a white Zinfandel, you have to ask for it. It was developed in or the term, it's a marketing term. There's a story behind how they say it was made. I'm not going to go into it because I'm not sure I necessarily believe it. but. The bottling, the, the fact that it was changed to be sweeter and it was termed white Zinfandel or blush wine is definitely an American thing because Americans' palates tend to go sweeter, all right? Americans love soft drinks and soda and sweet things. It's just, it's just a fact. It's changing a little bit now, but in general, Americans like sweet stuff. They don't like dry wines. So a lot of you do. I love dry. But a lot of people like the sweeter wines. And so they came up with this. Uh, now, a lot of wine snobs will hate this, okay, because it's not this. It's not a dry. This is a French dry wine made from Pinot Noir. This is a, you know, a new invention, so to speak. I think it first came out in uh, 1975. The term White Zinfandel and quickly took off. I was in the business at the time. I remember this. I remember all of them. And it became very popular. Uh, but it is very easy to drink. It is fruity. It is sweet to semi-sweet um, it goes good with uh, spicy food because remember sweet kills heat so if they say it goes with Asian or Latin they're meaning spicy Asian food Chinese food whatever Thai food and Latin meaning Mexican Cuban spicier foods that's what sweet wines uh, go well with and it's an easy sipper on a uh, see to cut see it's sweating here because it's nice and cold and on a hot summer night it's a very good wine to drink People love it. It's it's easy to drink, and it's 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 just a nice sweet, fruity wine, which I'm going to try here in a minute. The next video is going to be drinking this wine and, and telling you about the profile. But that's the difference. So you can make um, rosé wines. You always use a uh, red grape. Okay, all grapes are red. Just the skin is clear when you squeeze it. The skin's clear. If you want it to be dark like this, you leave it in contact with that grape. And then it'll turn this color, right? The longer you keep it, you can make it inky black by keeping it in contact with the skin. That imparts different flavors, different uh, nutrients, and it protects the wine for aging. The tannin that comes out of those skins makes it rough and hard to drink sometimes, but you age it and that tannin mellows out and you can get a lot of years out of your wine. That's one of the things that helps. The high alcohol is another. So see, this is dark red and 15%. Uh, it should be Titanic and 15% ABV. Now we're talking some life on that. Uh, this here is 9.5%. You know, not much tannin in there. It's an easy drinker, made to drink fresh, made to drink now. Uh, this is a little higher alcohol. Still, uh, rosés are kind of meant to drink. Um, this is a 2016 though. So, uh, the Sutter Home won't, be, won't have an age statement on it. And this is 2015, this will last a long time. Um, so there it is. So that's really the main of what a blush 
or white Zinfandel is compared to a blush wine, or excuse me, a rosé wine, which is drier, even though it, it looks like this, it's dry. Very pleasant. Um, I, I did a couple videos where I bought the exact same grape from the exact same winemaker, and I did one in red and one in rosé, and compared with the same grape, with the same wine grape uh, maker, what does aging on the skin do? How does that change that profile? Very interesting, very, but so this is the, the, the rosés aren't gonna be real sweet like they are, but they're gonna have that fresh melon, strawberry type taste to it, a little more floral, whereas the red's gonna have that, you know, heavy. Uh, Zinfandel tends to be jammy, um, uh, more of a tannic taste and feel and heavier. Um, so, uh, it'd be fun, you know, get, get you a Zinfandel, get you a white Zinfandel, get you a, um, a nice rosé, and try the differences. If you're going to throw a party, though, you might, you know, the more serious with people who consider themselves more serious will like a drier, or people who like dry wines more, might want a drier rosé on a hot night. And other people who like a little bit sweeter uh, might enjoy this. I enjoy them all. Okay, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to drink, drink this. I'm going to sample it, and then over the next couple days, I'm going to drink drink it, and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it out here, right here in my yard, on these hot uh, nights and evenings, and I'm going to sip it and just enjoy the heck out of it. So we're going to go over that in a minute. Uh, so the hope that has explained the difference uh, between the Zinfandel, the white Zinfandel, and a rosé wine. All right, everybody. Thank you. I did that. Look at that. Under seven minutes. Cheers, everybody.